she was just a walking down the street singing. Do I do, 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 do. Snapping her fingers and shuffling her feet singing. Do I do, 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 do. She looked good, look good. She looked fine. Look fine. She looked good, looked fine. Then I nearly lost my mind. Before I knew her, she was walking next to me singing. Do I do, 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 do. Well? Maybe Mother was right. Oh, come on, Kathy. You can't paint a boy's room rose blush. This will make him look jaundiced. Yeah, yellow's a great color. It's bright. It's cheerful. Bernie, help me. Babies love it. Oh, really? Besides, think when he's grown up. He's not going to want to hang out in a pink room. <laughs> well, it is cheerful. Beat it. You shouldn't be breathing these fumes. I'm going to put some hot apple cider on, then uh, go out and get some baby things. More baby things? Mark, we're totally unprepared. Totally. Get it. Check this out. Doing that there. The dishes are rattling in my place. Take the nursery. Um, Go take a look. Hey, how's my favorite dog? Mm. Do you remember Bernie? Uh, I'm her. She's my right. I saw her at the club. It was shocking. She circles down to her chin. She says the baby hasn't stopped crying since he got home. Probably colic. Probably Jenny. <laughs> what sort of a mother could she be? Some babies are fussy. Doesn't mean Jenny. Well, we're not going to let that happen to you. You're coming home where you're going to be taken care of. They will be home, Herb. You know what I mean. Yeah, exactly. I don't know why you're being so stubborn about this. Mark's finished painting the nursery. It looks wonderful. I'm sure it's lovely, dear. But you can't manage by yourself. I won't be. Laura's going to help. <sighs> what could she possibly know about babies? Laura volunteers at a daycare centre. She's read lots of books about children. Books? Come on. Catherine, a baby is a big responsibility. I know, Mother. I mean it. They never give you a moment's peace. We're just thinking of you, sugar. Catherine prefers to be home. Well, then hire a live-in. We don't need a live-in. I'll pay for it if it's a problem. Why is it always about money with you? Catherine is perfectly capable of taking care of herself. Can't you just accept that? See. He's fine. Everything's going to be great, believe me. Maybe my parents are right. Why, oh, Kat, they're always doing this. They try to destroy your confidence so you'll be dependent on them. You know that. I just hate them thinking that I'll take good care of you. They don't think that. Oh, yeah, they do. Your dad figures I'm a doctor. I ought to be rich. I ought to be treating patients on the main line, not dealing with welfare patients. <laughs> Clinic. Look, I know Daddy's aggravating. 
He's probably overprotective because he's my stepfather. I mean, he'd never admit it, but I think he really respects you for trying to help people. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Look at this little guy. We've been talking about him so long, it's never felt real, and now there's this... this person here, this... this real little person. There's nothing wrong with you, sweetheart. I can't nurse. I can't comfort him. He's afraid of me. I can feel Shh, it. You're tired. That's perfectly normal. I feel like a failure. Catherine, listen to me. There's no law that says that you have to breastfeed. Bottle-fed babies are just as healthy. You don't think I'm a bad mother? Are you kidding? I think you're wonderful. You look so tired. But I'm breastfeeding. You shouldn't... No, it's okay. Don't worry. There's no reason you shouldn't have a bottle sometimes. You should get used to it. It's good for both of you. Oh, he won't want it now that he's seen me. You don't want that nasty old thing, do you, pumpkin? You want the real thing. The sooner you teach him, the easier it'll be. She didn't hurt so much. What's wrong? I'm just watching you that way. A lot of women miscarry. Twice. You will get pregnant again. You'll see. Is locked. There was someone here. I don't know how they could have gotten there in. There was. I, I didn't put Ben in the closet. I'd never do that. I know. I know that, Catherine. Maybe you just, you just set him down when you were going to change the crib and the phone rang. Oh. The important thing is, you're both okay. 
Have you seen anybody around outside? No. Well, actually, I just gotten home and Catherine came running over. They must have a key. I'll change the locks. This is such an old building. Anyone could have a key. Catherine, I've checked every room. Nobody's here. I'm going to cancel my appointments and start to call. You don't have to do that. I can stay with Catherine. Is that all right with you? We'll be fine. All right, look, I'll, I'll be back as soon as I can. Thanks. Make sure you lock the doors behind me. We'll be fine. Okay. He's been crying all afternoon. What have you done? Mm, having a baby doesn't mean we have to be completely cut off from civilization. Mmm. Roast squab with sautan sauce. People really go to nice restaurants. Is it possible to eat without a baby <laughs> crying on your shoulder? Mm. To Ben's beautiful mother. You know, this will go straight to my milk. Great. Maybe it'll keep him from waking up every hour. Yeah, wouldn't that be great? Yeah, sure. I could see you up there. You'll be pinching him to see if he's still alive. Maybe I shouldn't. You know something? I love you. Can Ben come out and play? Hi, Bunny. Hi. I thought Laura was helping you. Only for the first week. I felt silly having her around all the time. Hey, you're pretty good at this. What's your secret? Boredom. You know, most people try to entertain babies, make them smile. Me, I bore them. No gurgling, no funny faces. But they fall right to sleep. Are you free tonight between 12 and 5? Giving you a hard time, huh? All newborns are fussy. It's normal. Yeah, I'm tired, but I'm fine. Good. Did Mark say something? About what? Well, he's worried about me, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Should he be? Bernie, don't play psychiatrist with me. I'm not one of your patients. I'm sorry. It's a bad habit. I'm sorry, it's me. I guess it's been tougher than I expected. I know I'm driving Mark crazy. You don't have to worry about him. Marrying Mark was the first thing I did strictly for me. First time I decided what I wanted it was more important than what my parents wanted. They hated you for introducing us. I remember. It's strange, after Herb married Mother and we stayed in England so long, he grew suspicious of Americans. That's why he kept me in school over there after we moved here. Well, it's a good thing they paroled you long enough to go to college. We never would have met. You know, sometimes I used to think we'd get married. <laughs> no, girls don't marry their biology lab partners. It's better this way. Uncle Bernie. Tyranness, anxiety, depression. What are you saying, doctor? I think she's got a touch of PPD. Oh, come on. Baby blues? Come on, Bernie, you can't be that serious. Most part of depression doesn't have to be serious. Most new mothers go through it without any problems. I just thought you should be aware of it.
exactly what I was afraid of. Catherine gets overwhelmed by things, always has, jumps in without thinking. Postpartum depression is a very common problem, Herb. Could have been avoided. She should have come home, but you wouldn't listen. It didn't seem necessary. Well, better than you do, Mark. It's always been like this. Ignores our advice, then comes running home for help. Well, maybe if you hadn't been so helpful, she might be better off. What the hell is that supposed to mean? You treat her like a child, you don't listen to her, you don't respect her. You'd rather write a check than talk about her problems. <laughs> Money solves everything. Yeah, sure. That's it. Blame it on me. It's all my fault. You're so damn obvious. It's exactly what I would have expected from you. You really are something, Herb. I'm sorry I bothered you. Wait a minute. I didn't say... We'll what. handle it. What do you want me to do? Name it. You don't make this easy, you know that? Is your offer for a living still good? For as long as you need her. This is strictly alone. Don't be so damn stubborn. It's the only way I'll do it, Herb. I don't want Catherine to know you're involved. You make her feel like a failure. I won't say a word. She might be my stepdaughter, but I love her more than you could ever imagine. I mean, I couldn't understand why I was so depressed all the time. Here I have a beautiful, healthy baby. I should be euphoric, right? Catherine, give yourself a break. Your hormones are raging. It's completely normal. Well, nobody warned me about baby blues. Now that I know, I feel a lot better. Then why are you interviewing nannies? Oh, it's Mark's idea. He thinks I need someone checking up on me. Oh, I don't think that's it. He just thinks you need more of a rest. You know, I'd be really happy to look after Ben any time. It's very sweet, Laura. But Mark wants someone full time. Besides, I'm sure Scott is sick of sharing you. Well, I'm sure Scott doesn't care. He's only here long enough to change laundry between trips. It's like having a roommate. Not a husband. Counseling hasn't helped. No, he thinks we should stop trying to get pregnant. He says the strain is ruining our marriage. He'll change his mind, Laura. Do you mind if I try something? Here. Yes. Did you and Scott do all the decorating yourselves? What do you think? Like this. Oh no, don't you get used to it. I think he's hungry. He drank a whole bottle. I'll see if he wants some more. What should I say? Just talk to them. Do you get the hang of it? Maybe we should ask for references. Okay. Excuse me, Mrs. LaSalle is here. Great. Uh, show her in. Relax. You do fine. As long as I'm here, I'm in charge. I've raised hundreds of babies, and my methods work. They may seem harsh, but you'll thank me when he's a teenager. Where did you work last? Have you had any experience with children? Do you understand any English? I'm working on my master's in psychology. This will be a great chance to study one up close. I'm particularly interested in the development of its reflexes. Okay, Shh, that's it. Don't be discouraged. I hear the next one is great. She'll be here in about 20 minutes. Oh, want to get your mummy? There you go. Come on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just wanted to say I think your husband is wonderful. He's my doctor. Oh, thank you. 
I had this earache this one time, and he just fixed it right up. He was so nice. I came back when this happened. Oh. oh, hi, darling. How are you? Oh, he's beautiful. Thanks. I just freaked out when I found out I was pregnant. Didn't know what to do, what with being alone and all. But Dr. Elshan, he explained everything to me and made it seem less scary. I, I don't know what I would have done without him. Is my father going to help? No, that man's going to have nothing to do with my baby. Okay. So is your family here? I stay with friends mostly. I was working as a waitress till I got fired. My boss thinks people don't like being served by pregnant women. And he thinks it ruins her appetite. Well, that's terrible. So what are you going to do when the baby's born? Well, I'm going to go to Indiana and live with my sister. Cities don't suit me anyways. Shh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. I don't know really what to do when he gets like this. Oh, it's okay. You know, my mama, she used to have a trick she used on the youngest. Maybe it'll work. Can I help? It's okay. Come on. There we go. There we go. It seems to help with the colic. At least they're not screaming in your ear. That's my boy. Is your time to feel better now? Hmm? It doesn't make sense, Cal. She's eight months pregnant. It makes perfect sense. Beth needs work and a place to stay. We need help. How much help could she be? We're only talking about warming bottles and changing diapers for a few weeks. She's very nice. You said so yourself. What if we need her longer? We won't. We won't. Oh, look at these dry flowers. Oh, they're so pretty. I'm gonna get a hot dog. Want one? Oh yeah. Please. Okay. Oh, I love theirs. Hi. Two please. Yeah. Look, Sal went through. It's over. Well, I say it is, Jeff. Who's that? Nobody. Let's just go. Okay. See the father. Yeah. Now you know why I don't want him around. I won't be long. I don't rush for getting on fine. Oh, these strollers in the hall closet. If you want to go out. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Right, bye. Is that your car I'm blocking? Oh, sorry. It's okay. Somebody was in here. I could feel it. Somebody was in our house. Catherine, I changed all the locks. Everything was shut. Well, no, upstairs. You haven't changed the locks upstairs. That's how he got in. Okay, okay. I'll get locks for upstairs. I know what I heard, Mark. Why are they never on 
time. I'm freezing. He's a doctor, Scott. It's not like being a surgeon. It's not your fault. We have to do what's best for Ben. Here. I mean, it may be that Catherine just needs a rest. You, you mean take him away? Just until she gets over this. I can look after him at my house. That would be the worst thing to do. She would freak out. You saw what happened. We can't risk putting Ben in danger again. I'm not going to take her baby away. Bernie, how is she? I gave her some thorazepam. She ought to sleep. What's, what's going on here? What happened? It's hard to say. It could just be a momentary memory lapse. Or? Or something a little more complex. Possibly neurosis, triggered by stress, hormonal imbalance. Psychosis? It's a long shot. Still, I'd like to put her on some haloperidol, see how she responds. What's that? Just something to calm her down. And it might be a good idea for Catherine to try therapy. I can recommend some first-rate people. Here. Yeah, sure. Thanks, Bernie. Okay. I'm sorry I didn't mean to yell at you. Forgive me. I'm trying to remember what happened. I'm really trying. It's okay, just... Don't think about it. Relax. What's wrong with me? What's wrong? There's nothing wrong with you. Everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. I know we've had a different. Catherine says I'm too tough on you. Well, maybe she's right. Maybe, maybe I tried too hard because, well, I'm not a real father. I don't know. But this much I do know. You work hard your whole life to build something, to provide for your family. You don't want to see your only child throw it all away to start again from the bottom. I know how hard it is. And I know the price you have to pay. We all want what's best for Catherine. I mean, that's the important thing. That's right. We've got a suggestion. I know what you're going to say. Please, hear me out. We think that Catherine and the baby should move in with us for a while. 
We've got plenty of help. Plenty of people to look after her. Get her strength back. Two, three weeks from now, she'll be good as new. And it'll be a lot easier on you, dear. I mean, your job is difficult enough as it is. All we ask, Mark, is that you consider it. When you first suggested this at the hospital, I, uh... Well, I resented it. It made me feel like you didn't trust us. Now I realize that you were only trying to help. Ah, oh, there have been so many times where we... And where I... I didn't appreciate it. I'm sorry. That's really sweet of you, Mark. Settled. Catherine and the baby will come home. Great. I think we should wait a day or two, though. Bernie's got her on some medication. It's... What medication? It's something to ease her through this. It's made her a little bit, uh... Kind of disoriented. I don't think it'll matter if we wait a few days. But she'll be with us. We don't want to make things more difficult for Catherine, huh? Herb. Herb. I really appreciate this. Thanks. Catherine. Rise and shine. What time is it? It's almost two. Time to take medicine. There you go. How long do you think I should set it? 25 minutes. What's the stepchildren, the one in Indiana? Twins. Twins! Gosh, I can't imagine having two. She said she about died. She's just glad it's all over with all at once now, you know? Couldn't do that when I was pregnant. What? Take my ring off. My fingers were too swollen. Oh, isn't that funny? Remember what they taught you. Oh. That's in labor. Oh, it's too early. Tell this little rascal. I'm going to take her to the hospital. I'll be back in a couple of hours. I'm going to call Laura to come over. Oh, don't bother her. It's so late. Are you going to be okay? I'll be fine. Okay. I'm really sorry to leave you like this. Don't worry. Just have a healthy baby. Thank you. Come see us. See you soon. Bye-bye.
Mark? Mark, is that you? Kath, you up? Catherine, where are you? Catherine? Catherine, are you in there? Catherine, are you all right? Catherine! What happened? Why don't you lock the door? What? Are you okay? What's the matter? Huh? Catherine, where's Ben? Where's the baby? In his crib. No. Catherine, he's not here. He was here. Catherine, where is he? Damn it, Catherine! Where is Ben? What have you done with him? Catherine, talk to me. Talk to me. Where is Ben? Where is the baby? So what time was that? About 4 a.m. He went straight to the hospital. I got home around 7. So your wife, your child, they were alone all that time? Yes. She hadn't taken any medication since bedtime. I didn't think there would be a problem. No, what medication's that? Look, you got the wrong idea, damn it. She's suffering from postpartum depression. You're wasting time. Why aren't you out there looking for our baby? Excuse me, sir. I have a word with you. Yeah. Not in the trunk. Okay, Mrs. Elshad, now you said that you never left the house last night, is that right? I'm sleeping. You never took the car out? No. What the hell is this about? We have evidence that the car was driven recently. The engine was warm. See that? We found this in the trunk. Oh, God, that's back! <laughs> oh. Friend? These are blood stains. The lab confirms that they match your son's blood type. Oh, God, what have I done to my baby? Where is he? Oh, God. Where is my baby? Derek Eisner, he's going to be handling your case. He's the best, sugar. He's the very best. Look, I, I don't know what happened, Mr. Eisner. Not here, Catherine. We have plenty of time to talk. Let's just get you out of here. How shall? Stay here. All right. Come on. Come on. Must be some other way. Are you a betting man, Doctor? No. Me either. That's why the last place I want to be is in a court. Anything can happen. Now, by having Catherine committed, 
we have a good shot at avoiding a murder trial on the grounds that she's unable to aid in her own defense. But we have to act fast. But she didn't murder Ben. He was kidnapped. And that's who the police should be looking for now. Not tormenting Catherine. Tell him, Herb. I think we should listen to Mr. Eisner. He thinks that she's guilty. We're going to find out who did this. We're offering a reward to get our grandson back. You hired me to protect your daughter, Mrs. Kavanaugh. Locking her up in a mental hospital? It's better than prison. Now, even without a body, the police still have a strong circumstantial case. The press are going to turn this into a witch hunt. They'll be screaming for blood. Jurors aren't supposed to hear it, but they do. And a guilty verdict could mean life in prison. Just for the time being, darling, we have no other choice. I didn't do it. Catherine, you shouldn't I be couldn't here. I couldn't have him. I couldn't have him. Well, that's not what you told the police. I they was... think you, you'll confess. No, I'm so confused. I didn't know what I was saying. That's right. You don't know what you're saying. Now, please, go on back to bed. I... Elaine. I wouldn't have my baby. I love him. God's sake. What happened? Please I tell me. Know. Tell me, Catherine. Please I tell know. me. You have to Where's believe me. I don't you're still know. Please tell me. I don't know. 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 I don't there is no way we can go to trial. Now, the court will require statements from two qualified psychiatrists that Catherine is incompetent due to mental disease or defect. I've requested a hearing in 10 days. So soon. It's the best way. I can recommend several psychiatrists who will cooperate. I'll get a hold of Bernie. signs were so obvious, but I couldn't believe it. I wouldn't let myself believe it. It's not your fault. Oh, Bernie, come on, damn it. I'm a doctor. I should have seen it. Don't tell me it's not my fault. It's a very rare condition, Mark. Losing Ben has got its heart. I can't bear the thought of losing Catherine, too. Whatever she's done, she doesn't belong in prison. Don't worry. I love Catherine. I'll never let them do that. So you were asleep until Mark shook you awake. Did you dream? I don't think so. I don't remember. Okay. 
I want you to think back and tell me what's the last thing that you remember before you fell asleep in the nursery, the very last thing. Watching the door. Waiting to see who came in. I remember thinking I wasn't going to let anyone hurt Ben. All right, now you told me that after Ben was born, you started to feel anxious. Yeah. I couldn't sleep. I, it was like my mind was spinning all the time. Did you ever imagine that things were happening to him? What do you mean? Did you ever think he was in danger from something unusual? Uh, rats or bugs, for instance? No. So you never had fantasies that he was threatened? The only threat I was worried about was me. The night Ben was kidnapped. Who? His car was blocking mine. What are you talking about? The guy you're seeing. I'm not seeing anyone. I know you are. I've seen him leaving the apartment. Well, you're wrong. It must be somebody else. Damn it! This is important. I, I can't help you. Yes, you can't. That you see if the car was blocking mine. I couldn't have driven like the go police. Go home, said. Catherine. Go away. Laura! 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 Did anybody stay with you that night? No. She's lying, damn it. He comes when Scott's away. Tell the truth. Quiet, Mrs. Elshant. Tell the truth, Laura! You're gonna have to be quiet or I will remove you. You understand that? Understood? Catherine's only trying to help. No visitors? You're absolutely sure? Yes. I'm sorry, Catherine. I know what you're going through. I can't help. Thanks for your time. He was here! I saw him! Catherine, doctor, would you please remove her now? Why are you lying? Catherine, stop it! She did it! She kidnapped Ben! She got him! She took him! I know my son is alive and she took him! I'm trying to get rid of you, Calf. Going to the hospital is the only way to keep you protected from the police. It'll be safe there until we find who kidnapped Ben. Somebody must have seen the car parked behind mine. I mean, did you ask the neighbors? I'm sorry. Nobody saw the guy. Did you call Beth? She's in Indiana. I left a message with her sister. Look, I have to go to the hospital. Call Elaine to come and keep you company. Uh, time for this. Good girl. I wish I didn't have to go.
worse and worse. I, I don't know what's going to happen next. Yesterday, she accused Laura of kidnapping Ben. Laura? Yeah, she called the cops and everything. She was screaming, Laura did it because she can't have a baby. Next thing you know, she's going to be accusing you. I saw no evidence that she was delusional. Bernie, you got to commit her. We can't wait to the hearing. I, I, I'm afraid that she's going to do something crazy. She's going to hurt herself. I, I, I can't keep going like this. Has she seen the other psychiatrist? Yeah, he's already signed the papers. All right. I'll make arrangements. Earliest we can do is the day after tomorrow. She's doing something, Mark. Look at her. Come away from that window. I know she has been hidden somewhere. Just go to bed. You're going to drive yourself crazy. Hello? Uh, give me the dog. It's for you. <sighs> Dr. Elshan. I bet that wife of yours would like to know what's going on. Call the clinic and make an appointment in the morning. Patient? Yeah. I'm gonna go downstairs and get some ice cream. Do you want some? No, thanks. Paid you to get lost, Falco. No way. I'll meet you at the... Uh, when we get the hospital, there's a loaded dock around back. Kath? Yeah? I gotta get to the hospital. Patient tag coronary. Okay. to meet him at 10 o'clock. I'm sorry. I didn't know this was going to happen. Just don't start yelling at me. You're the one who said to pay him, Beth. You're the one who said Falcone won't keep blackmailing us. That's what I thought. Real smart thinking. Look, the whole time I was with Sal, he never came close to $2,000. I figured he'd just take it and leave. He's going to wish he had. Why? What are you going to do? What I'm not going to do is let him spoil it. Not when I'm this close to 7 million bucks. <sighs> Seven million dollars? I thought it was just a couple. Seven. <laughs> what is it, just like cash in the bank? No, it was put into a trust fund when we got engaged. Herb made sure he couldn't get near it. Uh. Yeah, he just overlooked one small detail, didn't he? If Catherine's incapacitated, I got full control. I can't wait to see the look on his fat face. Uh. Oh, shh. He deserves it the way he treated you. <laughs> Why don't you put him down? Miss holding him. Don't you miss holding me? Beth. He's been driving me crazy all alone here. You know, my mom raised six kids and I don't want nothing to do with him anymore. I thought we were going to leave him at a church or something. We will when it's safe. Would you keep your voice down? Look, Mark, I'm sick and tired of being stuck in here with a crying baby. You know, it's like you care more about him than me. Beth, 
I love you. That is why I am doing this. It's for us. Please go away. I'm sorry, Laura. I know you didn't take Ben. It was Mark. Lynn? Yes? Um, take care of my table for just a second. I heard his voice on the phone last night. It was like listening to a different person, Laura. Oh, I'm so sorry, Catherine. I'm sorry for lying to the police. I got scared. I got scared Scott would find out. I panicked. I didn't know what to do. I, I wanted a baby, Catherine. That's why I had an affair. I, just, I, I thought that if I got pregnant, then Scott would just accept it. <laughs> he wouldn't even know it wasn't his... I just, I just want a baby. I know, I know. <gasps> I'm sorry. I'll tell the police the truth. I'll tell them everything. I'm sorry, Mrs. Elshant. You can't withdraw any funds from this account. But it's my money. I have to have $25,000. Authorization is being transferred to your husband. He's taking control of all your accounts. Oh, my God. Um, I can lend you some of so much. I really think we should increase the reward. Because $25,000 is nothing these days. And that Mr. Eisner, he's not doing anything... Hello? <laughs> Catherine, it's me. Beth. I can't talk long because my sister's phone and all. I got Dr. Elshan's message about what happened. I'm real sorry for you. I'm afraid I can't remember a car block in yours. It was such a crazy night. How's the baby? Oh, fine. Real fine. Is he healthy? Oh, yeah. Real healthy. <coughs> That's him. I better go. Oh, don't go. Please, Beth. Are you sure he's okay? Yeah, but I gotta hang up now. Oh. Look after him, please. Will you look after him, Beth? Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Is everything okay? Yeah, I'm feeling kind of tired. I think I'm going to go to bed. Good idea, dear. I'll stay until Mark gets home.
Falcone! first. I heard what you told him, how, how you know what he did and how he paid you and everything. I, I don't care about the money. I just want my baby. Hey, there's only 1600 here. Well, that's all I have right now, but I'll get the rest. I promise my father will give you anything, anything you want. Just please tell me where my baby is. 50,000. Fine. In advance. Look, I promise you I'll pay the money. Oh, you'll pay all right. Because you ain't ever going to find your kid without me. See, Beth and the doc are real smart. I'm the only hope you got. Please, you've got to help me. Please tell me where he is. Please. Beth's got him about five miles from here. That's all you get for 1600 Oh, God, I'm begging you, please. I won't tell the police that you kidnapped him. I didn't snatch him. I didn't have nothing to do with it. I spotted Beth pretending to be pregnant. Figured it'd be worth a few bucks. Fifty grand, you hear? Fifty grand or you'll never see your kid again. Oh, please, please! show you around. Uh, Catherine's room is right down this hall. This is more than I expected. Well, we try to keep it as comfortable as possible. Please. Should we uh, put her things in there? Uh, her room's not ready out there, but she didn't see a packing list, did she? No, I was very careful. Okay, remember, uh, when you bring her here in the car, don't say anything. Mark Reed, it's best if I tell her. Are all these doors locked? Um, only at certain times. I'm not sure we're doing the right thing. Uh, I feel terrible. We don't have any other choice. It's the only thing we can do. Look, I know that this is very painful for you, but really, it's the best thing for Catherine.
What do you got? Hey, check the grip. Check this out. You see, it explains everything. They used the anxiety I felt as a new mother to convince me I was crazy. Oh, I know what you're thinking, but this time I have proof. Falcone said Mark paid him $2,000. Look, a $2,000 withdrawal was made the day before Ben disappeared. That's proof, Bernie. That proves that I'm not crazy. Oh, Bernie, don't do this. Catherine, you know I only want what is good for you. Please, Bernie. Listen to me. You're my best friend. I've loved you forever. This is hell on me, too. But I really think the daily treatment in a controlled uh, environment would be advisable. But there's nothing wrong with me, don't you see? It's Mark. Look, he's manipulated everything to make me look crazy. What's so sick is by accusing him, I'm digging myself in deeper. That's good for you. Don't tell me what's good for me. I'm sick of it. People have been telling me that all my life. Everybody always knows better, but they don't, Bernie. They don't. What's good for me is to find Ben. Please help me. Catherine. Just do one more thing before you put me away. Check Beth's hospital records. See if she really did have a baby. Well, it's irresponsible. I can't do that. You've got to, Bernie. You owe me that much. I promise, if the records are okay, I'll come back here without a fight. But please, Bernie, just give me one more day. Okay. I'll think of something to explain the delay. Hi. Hi. Dinner's ready. It's been so long since I cooked. How was your day? Oh, fine. How was yours? Routine. Evening, Doc. My wife's not going to answer another question without her lawyer here. We're not here to see your wife. We'd like to talk to you. This character with the necklace, you know who he is? Sorry, I don't recognize him. You sure? I see a lot of patients at the clinic. This was found near his body. I know what happened a couple of weeks ago. My car was broken into at the hospital. It happens all the time. Junkies looking for drugs. It must have been taken then. You didn't tell me. Sure I did. Guess that explains it. How'd he die? Probably homicide. We found him behind the abandoned wing of the hospital. Yeah, some woman. She called in a tip. Who was she? Can't say. She sure as hell knew who I was. Thanks for your time. Somebody murdered him before I got there. You were the only person who knew about the meeting, Beth. It wasn't me. My God, how could you think that? Well, so how did my nameplate get there? I don't know. I mean, maybe it fell out of your car or something. It wasn't me. It wasn't. Did you get the aspirin? No. The uh, drugstore was closed. Didn't tell me about Beth. What? Did she have a boy or a girl? Boy. Oh, that's nice. Like Ben. So she's groping. I'm groping, racing to get it on, because rounds are starting, right? But all of a sudden, I hear this moaning. It's like, mm. Oh. <laughs> that doesn't shout so loud. <laughs> She says, I ain't doing it. And then, this voice comes from behind the curtain. Hey, find your own damn room. <laughs> Hi. What's the matter, you a little short?
Dr. O'Shea, you got a minute. Look, guys, I'm real tired. I'd like to get home. Yeah, I know how you feel. Just a couple questions, all right? Last night, you uh, stated that you didn't recognize Salvatore Falcone, is that right? That's right. Remember anything about him now since we thought? I really haven't thought of that. You know, Doctor, sometimes we ask people questions, and they can't remember things. But later, they do. Look, what are you saying? Several hospital employees saw you arguing with Falcone last week, right here, right here in this parking lot. They were lying. The way they lied about you over in Houston? You know, Doc, I couldn't figure you making like Mother Teresa here until I found out about those two malpractice suits. Or the hospital paid off and, and you get fired, right? Guys, everyone sues doctors. We're an easy target. Yeah. Why don't you just take another look at this photo? Sorry. I, uh... I really can't help you. No, it's fine. Thanks for your time. We'll be in touch. I'm upset. I'm fine. Just eat. I'm not hungry. Hey, Bernie. What's up? I think I could take them. Right? Mm -hmm. What, right now? Look, the bed just opened up. It'd be easier this way. Bernie, I don't know. You can't trust me. Probably right. I'm sure. I'm sorry, Catherine. It's time. I can't. I, I, I can't. You can't. Don't make this any harder than it already is. Don't do this, Bernie. Come on. Bernie. Let's go. I'll go with you. No, she's got everything she needs for tonight. Bring her clothes tomorrow. Catherine, really, this is the best. I'm sorry I had to do that. I couldn't think of any other way of getting you out of there. You were right about the hospital record. Mark put Beth's name on another woman's file and the description doesn't match. Oh, thank God. I'm so sorry, Catherine. I should have realized. Well, how could you? I didn't believe it myself. Now, we have to tell the police. No, we can't. We've got to find Ben first. He may be in danger if they think the police are after them. But how are we... Mark's not going to lead us there. He will if he thinks best betraying him. We have to scare him into running to her. Will you help me? Yeah. 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 I have your grandson. Who is this? Hello? I want $500,000. I'll get you the money. I'll get you anything you want. Just don't hurt him. Just tell me where you want it. And when. How do you know that this, this girl has him? Does she have proof? She described the sleeper he was wearing. And I heard him crying. Mr. Halsey's office. Yeah, this is Herb Kevin. I'll put me through to Walt. One moment, please. Have you called the police? He said no police. Herb, this sounds like a ripoff to me. You're gonna get out there with your money and... Herb, what can I do for you? I need cash by the close of business. What can I liquidate? Today? 
By five. How much can I raise? Let me pull you up on the screen. Where are you going to meet her? She didn't say. She's calling at six o'clock with instructions. We can unload the munis and dump the tea bills. How much? Net you at about three twenty and change. Do it. Be back here at five thirty. I'll have the rest of the cash by then. Sarah, get me Levy at the bank right away. want to talk. It's okay. The doctor had us all fooled. He's not going to get any trouble anymore, okay? 
In addition to uh, kidnapping and extortion, we have some evidence against him for Falcone's murder. The lab matched his car with tracks in the scene. That surprises me. I mean, Mark's definitely a sociopathic personality. Murder is rare in profiles such as his. Surprise, surprise. Doesn't surprise me, Bernie. I think he's capable of anything. Catherine! Catherine! Ah, please, Catherine! Stay tuned, because up next on True Movies 1, 15 and Pregnant. Alternatively on True Movies 2, Which Way Home, Part 2. And on True Entertainment, My Life. <laughs>